guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to uh, do some updation of this uh, our collections like in the product table we have added the uh, url things and navbar priority wises right so for example you can see i will add the product so you can find the custom url is available over here right that is slug which we call it and we have mentioned that into our uh, database also inside fab card product table over here you can see url right so this is the url link which we have given for making it so same wise you have to repeat for this group also and category subcategory these three things okay because to fetch to the front end over here you have to make those things okay so i'll just show you guys how to make this design so this was my testing purpose so just ignore that okay so we will uh, start with that okay so first step we will clear all this uh, upgradation of this so guys first let's go to database uh, and let's click on the first group inside group we have to create one column so let's click on structure so when we click on structure now you can uh, create one add one more row add one row after name or after id you can add let's click go it's loading okay so let's type url and this will be where care 191 and it shouldn't be null right so let's keep none so right now it will be empty only but we have to create it so we have to edit and update that so let's browse it so for right now it is empty data right so we will update it from the back end only designing purpose okay so let's click on category also category table and add the url for this also let's click on structure and please add that id after after group id we will create let's go and tell url so if we are not making this it is little confusion in future so we have to solve this so let's give save and the final one subcategory which we have to do url so there were three tables for it and this is the final table third table where we have to create url let's create after the category id type url and paste and save it So this was for the purpose which we wanted and now one more thing which I wanted to tell that adding the nav bar okay so over here now you want to show this um, electronic fashion on your nav bar right so in future you will have thousands of uh, items products so you cannot show that uh, all the things right so for that also you can customize by adding the navbar uh, status thing so right now we are not doing that we will do in future one so let's update all these three tables url into our dashboard so let's get back and finish it very soon so let me close all this file and let's go to our resource views admin so collections where we are going to check in the uh, category and group and subgroup subcategory so guys first we will start with the group let's go to create one and just copy the same format of this name control c and paste the url and rename it custom url 
in laravel we call it as slug and change the name to url enter url so now let's go to its controller group route so which we created the controller at group so let me go to http controller admin over here group controller so when you are saving that storing the data we have to insert it so let me click on it and let's copy the url which we just now passed that and save into database so let's copy and paste done so this will go into url and same thing copy and paste for update also that's it and this got upgraded so for update also you have to go to your page and add the url so let's copy this copy and go to your edit file and paste over there name custom url and fetch that value let's paste it and rename this as url save it and let's reload the page group i have clicked on it and you can add that see you can see a custom url right appliance appliance so appliance this will be the url for it and this is a small description about appliance let's save this so this url be added successfully so now let's go back to our group and check that so you can see appliance and we want to see the url also you can check in this let's click on group database i mean table and you can see that appliance is added and this above two are empty so let's edit and update that so let's click on edit and update it so let's tell electronics click on update updated group data updated successfully cool so now you have to go back to the place and you can check that it is updated over here also as we have pasted the code in update function okay done the same way you have to do for this two also category and subcategory product we have already done in previous video with that uh, creating the table and you can check with this category also same format so let's um, do with that also as simple press control b to open this and let's go to category and paste create the url so let's copy the same thing above name and paste it control b to move aside custom custom url which is called slug and same thing name attribute url and paste this url let's copy this and paste into our edit file also so let's go to our category edit file and paste the code after name paste and call the value of it url if it is none means it will show empty only let's call this url save it and let's go to our controller to save and update so let's go back to our category controller so this is our category controller where we have to 
group id so after group id we are changing the database field url let's copy this url and paste into our update code also so let's paste here that's it done so this is also is set so guys now the third one which we have to do is that a uh, subcategory so let's do with that also so let me go to our collections folder inside admin there we will find subcategory for index and edit so in index subcategory we have done with the model thing right so this is our model where we are adding the data so let's change this url so that url i'll show you see here guys so this was the model right so in this format we will in this only we will paste below this the url okay so let me change to this 12 and tell this as custom custom url that is slug and paste this url and tell that this also url so let's paste this into our edit file so let's copy this and go to subcategory edit file and paste below the name cool so i have pasted it now and let's call the value copy this and paste it and call this as url save it and now go to its subcategory controller inside your con admin controller so this is my subcategory and let me paste the url so let's copy this and paste it and now let's copy this line of code for to update also to update the data control enter and update it so guys this is set and now you can update your url things right as we can see so let me reload this page and let me edit so this is the nokia so i'm going to click on nokia brand edit and you can find that nokia and this is the url so let me click on nokia over there and update done so let us edit again and we'll see the data over there cool so it's available over here that means updated so you can tell this as nokia brand also url let's keep nokia brand and the final for this mi hyphen b r a n d brand let's update it so you have completed with this url things and you can update your category also as simple mobile and accessories you can update the url this is our url mobile and accessories let's update this cool so category updated you can see that mobile and accessories is already available in it so this is how we do with this updating the new things and now one more thing which i am forgetting is about the models whatever we are doing it so first we checked with the uh, group so now over here we will add that url thing so let's add url copy this and paste for your category also paste it let's copy and paste for your subcategory enter and paste subcategory that's it done and now finally we have to uh, integrate this url into your databases so totally four changes were 
we are doing so let's migrate that also for safety reason you have to keep this maintain this records so first group you can tell this so let's copy this and tell this as url string okay so everything will be fine with this so let's copy this and mention your category also after group id have pasted save it and after uh, subcategory after the category id save that's it so the changes has been updated guys and see you in next video about how to we are calling these things and we are setting up with this uh, collections and product view of this okay so guys thank you for watching this video please update this data and let's continue next video